Hi, I'm Hub Arkish, along with Pro Football Weekly Executive Editor Dan Arkish, and yes, my big brother, and we're here with more of our exclusive NFL Way We Hear It. And Dan, information starting to flow a little bit more about the teams now that the owners' meetings are wrapped up again. And one of the stories that's kind of leaked out of San Francisco is that Alex Smith contract is not what people were led to believe it is. Well, you're right, Hub. It's a lot of money, up to perhaps uh, $33 million over three years, but there's a, an out clause at the end of uh, the 2012 season, and uh, really he's going to get most of that money only if he's on the roster after April 1st next year. So, translation, the pressure is on Alex. Well, and therein lies the key, because if they want to cut him April 1st of next year, forget the $33 million, he won't even make what he would have gotten with a franchise tag this year if he hadn't signed the deal. Right, and uh, you know, it's really interesting. Uh, they, they do have that deal signed, but now there's uh, heavy drama at the backup quarterback position because uh, they brought in Josh Johnson, who played for Jim Harbaugh at the University of San Diego, and uh, our sources out there in the Bay Area say that it's a wide open competition between him and Colin Kaepernick, who they drafted high last year in the second round. And of course, a number of teams very high on Kaepernick, so there's something about Alex Smith, we don't know what it is, they just won't get married. They, you know, they'll let him come and they'll keep courting him. They're going to go with him again. He had a great year last year. That one of 13 on third down in the NFC title game obviously continues to haunt him. Now, why was he one of 13? Well, one of the reasons, he didn't have any weapons. So what have they done during the offseason? They've added 35-year-old Randy Moss, 30-year-old Brandon Jacobs, Mario Manningham from the Giants. All three guys, I don't want to call them troublemakers, but guys who come with a little baggage. And, and there's this sense that Jim Harbaugh may be trying to paint himself as the new Bill Belichick, the way he's working free agency. It's very uh, Patriot-like, uh, and uh, you know Trent Baalke and Harbaugh have great respect for that organization. So I think that uh, you know they definitely like the idea of giving uh, you know uh, talented people uh, a second chance, so to speak. And, uh, you know, the more you think about uh, Jacobs in particular, uh, they, they've become one of the best running teams, and they have now uh, three contrasting styles that provides Harbaugh with a really creative situation. They've got the well-rounded Frank Gore, they've got the power guy in Brandon Jacobs, and they've got the shifty change of pace back in Kendall Hunter. So, uh, very interesting situation in that backfield. And just to complete a little bit of the drama, Brandon Jacobs not guaranteed a roster spot. It's an interesting signing, but he's going to have to fight to make that ball club. For more of our exclusive Pro Football Weekly Way We Hear It and the best news and analysis 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, stay with us right here at ProFootballWeekly.com.